Hi, today we're going to show you how to make a bulb syringe device. Now we got this from the kids' doctor to suck their mucus. If you are a do-it-yourself person, a bleed your brake fluid, you can watch my other video using this device and drain the brake fluid. But this one is a little bit too short for me to reach the coolant reservoir, this overflow reservoir, I couldn't reach it. So I thought that I should make one myself. There are different ways to make it. And some people just go to the store buy one, but I'm going to make one so you don't have to keep it yourself. You use it and then um, you can throw away. Next time you use it, you can cheaply or zero cost to you. It depends on what you have. The first thing I have, I have an old a water heater because a leak. I'm not using this, I replaced with a new one, so the old one I'm using it. The thread is just fit. However, this still turn and the water leak. What you need to do is just use tape and tape uh, nicely and tile seal. If you don't have this kind of a thick pipe, if you have a, any sink, uh, toilet, you know, inlet water, you can use it and put this in here. Just use tape to seal it. Now, if you don't have this kind of thing, you can just, uh, it depends on what, uh, if you have a straw, for example, you have a straw, if you have a drill, find a drill build exactly the same diameter, and put this in between your, uh, use your leg to hold this. And, to, uh, hold, to hold what? Use, use your leg to hold this. To hold the bottle? to hold the bottle, yeah, like this, and draw a hole here. So once you draw the hole, you can put a straw in, and then open in the back side, use some wax to seal it. So you really need to have a tight seal. And if this, you, you don't think it's secure, use a glue gun to um, strengthen it, but make sure it don't melt it. If you don't have a drill bit, what do you do? Then, you know, I have this uh, sharp thing. I poke a hole and I use a screwdriver to make a hole a little bit larger than this, but quickly withdraw and then put the straw in. That's another one. After you've done this, make sure you use the tape or whatever things to seal this. But if you don't have an even screwdriver, what do you do? I will show you all. You can simply just put the straw in like this and use tape to tape it. You put the straw in and seal it. This way, you don't really need a, a drill. You just have a straw and seal it with the tape. But make sure when you do the sealing, the straw is not as hard, so make sure it doesn't collapse. This is a good one, and I will demonstrate it works. The water is in now. So let's try this. Uh, I haven't sealed this, but I want to demonstrate you this uh, without sealing. It still works. See, you see the bubble? Yeah, water is here. Come in. And you suck this more water in. More water in. See, there's the water. Water here. See how much water? can be sucked. See? This much. You, the key thing is you need to really seal a while. But you said you didn't seal this one, right? Yeah, this, I didn't seal. It's just a natural way. I, I poke a hole with screwdriver and put this in. See this much water. Okay. I'll show you the next one. So, this I draw a hole, and it's important you try different bottle. Some bottle works better than others, and this is just a regular water bottle, and you can see it works perfectly. And see, 
see the water is here. See water easily. So there are various options I give you. Use whatever you have in the least cost with the least cost. Otherwise you need to keep a device, you know, keep cleaning and keep yourself. This is a very easy to make and cheap to throw away. Thank you.